So in this video, I'm going to cover how to do VLOOKUP from multiple workbooks. Let me show you what the situation is. So I have this workbook that has this user IDs and I have to find what's the name for each one of these user IDs. The actual data that I'm going to be looking in to find as names is going to be in different files. So I have this data one file. That's one workbook that has some of this data. I have the second workbook, another file that has more of those names and then data three, yet another one that also has some of those names. I need to do a VLOOKUP to get all my matches to the first workbook. Now I'm going to start with a simple example. So first I'm going to just close this data two and data three files and we'll just work with just one workbook and that data one tab to see how do you just do VLOOKUP from two different workbooks. And then after that, we'll just do from all of them at the same time. So to do this, let me actually close this data three and this data two. And now I only have two files open at the same time. Now to make my life easier, I'm going to use a range functionality in Excel. So instead of I go here and select my files, I'm just going to just place both files side by side so I can easily work with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my first workbook. This is my start workbook. And after I'm in this, I'm going to go under view. And here we have this arrange all. And if I click on that, I only have two Excel files open. I'm going to do vertical options. So it's basically going to split the screen into multiple vertical parts to place my files side by side. Now I only have two, so that should work just fine. So I'll do OK. Here we go. Now I have my first file nicely laid out on the left and the second file is on the right. This is the data where I'm pulling this information from. So let me zoom out a little bit of this one to make sure I can see all the columns on one screen and we'll get started. So I need to first find this ID in this column, right? And once I find that ID in this column, I need to get the name of that person. And I can do that with a VLOOKUP. So again, to do that VLOOKUP, I'm going to go here and start let me actually zoom out so you can see the whole formula on one screen. So VLOOKUP, I'm going to do lookup value to be this ID on the left, comma, and then the table is going to be this. So when you select this table, you need to make sure that the first column of that table has the same ID that you're searching for. So I clicked on this A2, that was the value of this ID that I was searching for here on the left, right? Now I need to find that in this first column of my selected table. So it's important that the first column has those IDs. Perfect. I'm going to actually go here and move this so you can see this. So now that's the table. Now when you start working with multiple workbooks, not multiple tabs, what happens when you select a table, it's automatically locked. So you don't really have to press F4 to lock this table like you would do otherwise if you have different worksheets. And I have a video covering how to do this from different tabs in the same file. I would suggest actually watching that video before you come to this video. But anyways, so that's the table. So after the table, I'm going to do a comma. And in this table, I have to select which column I want the data from. So I want names for people. So it's going to be one, two, three. It's the third column in this table. So I'm going to do three comma, and then it has to be an exact match. So that's the false or zero type. It's the same thing. So you can either type false in here or you can type zero and that's going to be false. Again, I'm going to close parentheses, hit enter, and that should get me who is the match for this. So if we go check this match, if I just search in this workbook, Control F and Control V to paste it. Find, see, we find that record here, and that was this person, and that's exactly who we find here. So now I can drag this down, and I'm going to find, well, some people are in this list, some people are not, so I'm getting what I'm getting. 
to simplify this a little bit, since this is a pretty clean data set and I don't have any extra things sticking in the bottom, I'm gonna just select the whole column for my table instead of selecting the data range. So I'm gonna go equals view lookup. I'm gonna click in this ID comma, and then I'm gonna select from column A through C. And I'm gonna, again, I don't have to press F4 because this is locked. I'm gonna do comma, and that's column index number one, two, three. So that's the third column, comma, and this is an exact match. So zero for false. Close parentheses, hit enter, and I double click. I should get exactly the same result. I double click this to expand this column. Now, a couple of things to note. So like I said before, if you remember, this column needs to be located in the first column of the table that you select. So let me give you an example of when it's not in the first column. So let's say we have a column here and then this full address column is in here and I'm gonna just get rid of this. I don't need that. So now we have user IDs here and names are here in this column. And see how our VLOOKUP doesn't work any longer. So I'm gonna do another VLOOKUP for this case. So see IDs are in this column now. So I'm gonna go here equals V lookup. Now I'm gonna click on this. That's the ID I'm searching, comma. Now when I select the table, I have to make sure that ID is in the first column of that table. So now instead of starting selection from column A, I'm gonna start selection from column B and on. So that's B and C. And again, this is still locked, so I don't have to lock this. I'm gonna do comma here in this formula bar right here. So now after the comma, I have to count my columns. But now, if you remember, when I selected the table, I selected the table starting from B column because user ID was in column B. So now when I count column index, I have to do one, two, because I start counting from that same column when I did my selection. So one, two is the name. So that's two again here and then comma, and this is gonna be an exact match. So by the way, you can type that formula in this formula bar on the left or this formula bar on the right. It's kind of the same thing. So I'm gonna go zero here for exact match, close parentheses and hit enter. And that should get me my results. So that's how you would do that if you were using an ID that's not in the first column. I'm gonna undo the steps and get back to my data before I changed all these columns. So now that was an example of doing it with two workbooks. So now you can search from this workbook and find names in this other data and return those names. Now, what if you have multiple workbooks like I had, because see, I get some of these matches, but some of the names are on different files and I have to still find those names and bring them here. So for that, I'm gonna first open all the workbooks. So let me actually start over from the beginning. So I'm gonna delete this. And then what I'm gonna do first is open all the workbooks so I have them all. Okay, so I just opened all the files and if you look here, see I have this first file, I have this data one file that has some of the data, I have this data two tab that has some more data and I have this data three. Again, these are not tabs, I keep calling them tabs, but they are files. Three different files, I have to get some data from each one of those. So now again, I'm gonna try to simplify this by putting these things all side by side. So I'm gonna go to my start, I'm gonna go under view, and I'm gonna go arrange all. And now I'm gonna do tiled because vertical is just gonna be too small to even see those. I'm gonna do tiled, hit okay. There we go. So it's gonna look a little small here, but that should be fine. So this was our original data tab, if you remember, with our user IDs. And these are all those three other files. So obviously the larger screen you have for this, the easier it's gonna be to work with this. But I'm just gonna start working on this one right here. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna just zoom out a little bit on all of these other files so I can see all the columns clearly on the screen, something like this. Go to this file, zoom out, 
And by the way, I zoom in and zoom out by pressing control on using the wheel on a mouse. That's a very easy way to zoom in and zoom out in Excel. So now I'm gonna go to this first file. That's where I need to start the formula because this is where I need the results. So I'm gonna go here and start a VLOOKUP. So I'm gonna do a VLOOKUP. My lookup value is gonna be this comma. Now I need to search for that in, well, I'm gonna first do this file on the right. So I'm gonna select these three columns and then comma. So after the comma, we need to do one, two, three is the column of names. So I'm gonna go here in the formula bar three comma, and this is an exact match. So that's false or zero. Close parentheses, hit enter. That gives me my first field lookup and apparently there was no match. And if I drag it down, so let's scroll down, see some people are in this data table because this is data two file. The other one was data one, where I used to find a match for this first ID. And some matches are here and some are not. So that's my first VLOOKUP. So I'm gonna repeat this exact same process for these two other tables on the side. So I'm gonna go here, equals VLOOKUP. I'm gonna click on this ID, comma. I'm gonna go to this table below. I'm gonna select my three columns like this. And then I'm gonna go on top comma, and that's one, two, three column to get the name, comma, and that's zero for exact match. Enter, no match apparently for that ID. I'm gonna double click in a corner to drag this down. See, there are some people who are in that table. And finally, I'm gonna repeat this same process for this third data file on the right. So I'm gonna do equals V lookup. I'm gonna click on this ID, comma. I'm gonna go to this file, I'm gonna select ABC columns, again, three columns here, I'm gonna go here, comma, it's again, the third column is name, three, comma, and zero for exact match, close parentheses, hit enter. And that gets me some of those names. So now I got those three. So now that I have this done from all those files, I'm going to just expand this window that has those functions in it. So I'm gonna click here to expand this window. Now I have three functions that are returning these values. And now I need to just combine these three functions to work as one. So for that, I'm gonna use if error function and I need to use all this VLOOKUPs in that if error function. So I'm gonna start with this first one. So if error function is a function that will just give a test to a function and if that function returns a value, it's gonna just provide what the value is. But if it doesn't, it's going to give you some alternative for the error. So let me show you what I mean. So if you look at this function in this first case, it returns an error, which is not available. It's an error, right? So I'm gonna go inside of this. I'm gonna select that function without the equal sign. I'm gonna do control X to cut it because I'm gonna need to paste it. And I'm gonna use the function if error. And if error, is gonna ask me for the value. So the value, I'm gonna paste that VLOOKUP function. So if that VLOOKUP function has an error, comma, then I'm gonna have to give an alternative. So an alternative could be something like text, try again, in quotes, right? And I close parentheses, so now it's gonna say try again. But if I drag this down, it's gonna only say try again for the ones that were errors, but for the rest of them, it will just work like the function used to work. So now we have a second option to do something if that function returns an error. So instead of doing just hard-coded text, which I can do in quotes like this, I'm gonna hit escape. I'm gonna go inside of the second function. I'm gonna copy that function without the equal sign. Hit escape. Let's just see in here this entire section from row 38 and down, see there are a lot of try again. So lots of errors. So I'm gonna go here and instead of this try again, I'm gonna remove that entire thing after the comma and just paste my VLOOKUP function, the second one. I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna click on that one and I'm gonna double click to drag this down. So now we get NAs for the ones we didn't find. But if I keep scrolling down, remember that from around like this area, 39, 40, there were a lot of errors or try-agains. But now we replace them with these values from this column because 
if the first function returned an error here, then we tried the second VLOOKUP function to get those values. Now what I need to do, I need to also incorporate this in this formula to get those names. And I'm gonna do that by again, copying this entire thing without the equal sign. After I copy, I delete it, if error, and I'm gonna paste that other function, which also has if error in it, that's fine. I'm gonna hit comma after that. And then after comma, I have to do that third function. So again, for now, I'm gonna try again. Close parentheses, hit enter. Now it's gonna say try again for all those NAs. Now I'm just gonna go inside of this function. I'm gonna copy this VLOOKUP, hit escape, go back to this one. And instead of try again, I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna paste that third VLOOKUP function. I'm gonna hit enter, click on the first one, double click to send it down. And I should have all my names. I mean, at least the ones we were able to find in one of those files. Apparently there are some we're not able to find in any of those files, which are these two. So again, you can use this using the clipboard to make this easy. So I'm gonna undo some of the steps that I did with if error. So now I went back to original three VLOOKUPs I did from those three different files. So here's one, here's the second one, here's the third one. So I'm gonna add a new column here. This is gonna be my final formula. I'm gonna first go under home tab. And again, the view tab gave me that arrange all putting windows side by side, which is great for this type of cases. I'm gonna go under home. I'm going to expand this, click on this little icon that gives me the clipboard. I'm gonna clear what's in it currently. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy those three VLOOKUP functions to the clipboard so I can paste them later on. So I'm gonna go inside of the first one. I'm gonna select the whole thing without the equal sign, control C to copy it, escape to get out of this formula, then repeat this same thing for every other one. So control C, escape, go to the third one, control C, escape. So I have copied those three VLOOKUP functions without the equal sign and here they are. So now I'm gonna go here and do equals if error. And then I need to try the first VLOOKUP, comma. And if that fails, I'm gonna try the second VLOOKUP. And now I'm gonna close parentheses. So that's my if error function that is going to incorporate the first two formulas. Now I need to then also incorporate the third VLOOKUP. And that means I have to put this entire thing inside of an if error function again. So I'm gonna go to the beginning and create another if error function and open parentheses. So now I have this entire thing inside of this if error function. I'm gonna go to the end and do comma to get to the second parameter, value if error. And I'm gonna click on the third VLOOKUP to paste it. Let me move this out of the way. So now I'm gonna do parentheses close and hit enter. And I'm gonna then double click to send this down and that's one formula. So you can see this one is NA because none of these actually returned anything. And this one is NA because also none of these worked. But here, for example, we got this person. So we get that person. We got this person over here. So we get that person. So you can see how we get people from each column that we're able to return results from. And now I can just delete this extra columns from the side and I can also close my clipboard on the left. And there you have it. That's our VLOOKUP to get all our matches from multiple different files. So that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.